Six collisions have involved cars and trains in our area over the past few months. One woman now doing something about it. Our Ashlyn Mitchell joins us live in studio. Ashlyn, she came to Mobile to raise awareness on railway safety. Yeah, that's right, Lee. Nancy Hudson with Operation Lifesaver says the influx of train and vehicle crashes actually led her to pay a visit to the port city. And her advice could save a life before it's too late. In this country, about every three hours, a train hits a vehicle or a person. Nancy Hudson is on track to promote safety at railroad crossings with the organization Operation Lifesaver. Through education, the nonprofit's goal is to prevent collisions, injuries, and fatalities on and around railroad tracks. There's been quite an increase in incidents here in the Mobile area, so I feel like it's my responsibility to try to help people understand what they really need to do as they approach a railroad crossing. Her visit follows six train and car accidents in the area over the past few months. To name a few, early this month, a car struck by a train in Bruton after police say the man tried to cross the tracks. Thankfully, no fatalities. But in April, an Amtrak train at Navco Road and Dog River Drive North killed a man after police say he tried to cross the tracks when the arms were down. Hudson says this pattern must stop. The first thing is, always expect a train every single time and if you're expecting a train maybe you'll slow down a little bit and have time to stop before you get hit by the train she says it's vital to anticipate a train even if the crossing doesn't have arms a quick refresh on road signs can help at the crossing where some of the incidents have happened that crossing has a round yellow sign and in black letters rxr that's an advanced warning sign for a railroad crossing. When you see that sign, you know there's a track up ahead. The X-shaped sign at the crossing, uh, black letters, white background, that is called a cross buck. And technically, legally, that sign means yield because we are required to yield the right of way to the train. Hudson compares the impact of a train collision to a car crushing a soda can. The weight ratio is about the same, but you're looking at, say, a 20 million pound train doing about 50, 55 miles an hour. It's going to take that train over a mile to stop, closer to two to stop. We can stop a whole lot faster. While not every collision is the same, patience, she says, should be at the forefront. We live in a time where everything is hurt hurry, hurry, hurry. And you don't want to wait for a train. You don't want to wait if the gate comes down. And the thing with the gate, more than half the crashes in this country happen where there is a gate. So as they see the gate start down, they don't want to wait. They got to get to the ballpark. They got to pick up the kids. Please be careful. We can't lose this many people. It's such a tragedy. And if you want to learn more about Operation Lifesaver, you can visit the link in the story on our website at fox10tv.com. Reporting live in studio, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.